Did you know that you can add and subtract fractions using your TI calculator? Let's try adding 11 over 136 plus 17 over 204. Now, as you can see, this problem is pretty difficult. It's not impossible, but if you're given a problem like this on a test, you probably don't want to solve it by hand. And in this case, a calculator can really come in handy. To add these fractions, first we want to enter them in in the form of a division problem. Parentheses 11 divided by 136. Close parentheses. Plus parentheses 17 divided by 204. Close parentheses. Now, it's not necessary for you to use parentheses when you're adding and subtracting fractions because these calculators understand order of operations. But I always use parentheses when I'm working with fractions just because there are some operations that do require parentheses. And it's just easier to press a few extra buttons and use the parentheses than to worry about getting the wrong answers. Now what we're going to do is press math enter enter and there's your answer 67 over 408 you may have a calculator with an older operating system and it will still give it to you in fraction form but it's gonna give it to you in the form that looks more like this where you'd have a 67 slash 408 it means basically the same thing now if you get an improper fraction and you want to change it into a mixed number I talk about that in my simplifying fractions video so you can check that out by subscribing to my channel subtracting is the same way except you're gonna use a subtraction button so I'm just going to use the same problem I used up here. I'm going to press second, enter, using the entry format. This is a very handy little function because it saves you time from having to write everything down. And I'm just going to move over here. I'm going to replace that addition sign with a subtraction sign. And press enter. And when you subtract these two fractions, you get negative 1 over 408. On your own, why don't you try adding these two fractions 13 seventeenths plus 8 over 15. <laughs> The answer is 331 255ths, or if you put it in a mixed number form, it's 1 and 76 over 255.